Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 22000.51. This is the first official Windows 11 preview build and includes a number of notable changes and enhancements over the leaked Windows 11 build we demoed a couple of weeks ago. So diving straight in, the first notable changes are with the lock screen. Microsoft has updated the lock screen here with a center date and time interface as well as rounded off buttons on the login screen here. So you can see the password box has rounded corners as do these buttons down here, as do the menus in the bottom right here which is super nice again matching the rest of the windows 11 ux the windows 11 ux is all about rounding corners let's be honest anyway jumping back into the desktop here the start menu is more or less the same as it was in the leaked build except microsoft has added the option to refresh the recommended feed by right clicking it uh, this is handy if you've been doing some things in office and they're not showing up in the start menu just yet you can force them to just by right clicking and selecting refresh which is pretty nice but the bigger changes are with the taskbar microsoft has added a handful of new things to the taskbar in this build starting with mini hover interfaces uh, so if you hover over the search or task view buttons now you get this mini interface that gives you quick access to say your recent apps or the search bar if you hover over search or your virtual desktops if you hover over task view so that's a kind of nice addition you can see here if we hover over search you can sort of launch an app quickly through this UI or begin searching and via task view if you hover it you can open a new desktop and even switch between them straight through this interface which is super cool as well of course you can click into these and still do the same tasks if you'd like but the fact that there's now a hover interface is kind of nice but the bigger changes are with the system tray Microsoft has updated the system tray area significantly on Windows 11 they've split the action center into two new flyouts we have the date and time button down here which gives you access to our notifications as well as your calendar uh, and then we have this sort of new control center ui which is accessed via clicking this big button here and that gives you access to things like your wi-fi list bluetooth uh, enabling or disabling airplane mode as well as focus assist turning on nearby sharing and all of that fancy quick action stuff that used to be in the action center but is now in this dedicated ui we can of course customize it by adding and removing stuff as well you can manage your audio devices through this ui uh, and all of these little icons have subtle animations as well so if i press this mute button for example you see that there's a, a cute little animation that plays when that is happening uh, same for things like enabling or disabling night lights so yeah a really nice sort of interface here for your quick actions they have been split up from the notifications area um, so that might take some getting used to uh, but other than that uh, the system tray is more or less the same as it was before we still have our overflow menu here which allows us to uh, sort of drag these icons onto the taskbar if that's what we prefer and we still have the show desktop icon here on the bottom right as well it's now just invisible by default and only appears when you actually hover over it which is kind of nice Moving on, Microsoft has added a modern context menu to the desktop and file explorer and this is what it looks like. It has nice new animations, has rounded corners, it's a little bit bigger as well uh, but if you still need to access the old uh, context menu you can do so by clicking on show more options here and that will bring you back to the old Windows 10 style context menu except it now has rounded corners because it's matching the Windows 11 UI. Uh, that context menu also shows up in File Explorer. Speaking of File Explorer, Microsoft has updated the File Explorer UI with a modern header. You'll see the ribbon UI is gone now and has been replaced by a simplistic sort of row of your most common commands and tasks within File Explorer. So if we click on this folder here, you'll see that we have the option to create a new folder or a new item within that folder, as well as cut copy, paste, rename, share, and delete. We also have our sorting options, our icon size options and additional options in this drop down menu here uh, so we can do things like rename test why not there we go we can copy and then we can paste straight through this ui super fun and if we come in here and say create a new item let's create a text document we can share that text document and that will bring up this new share UI which looks much better than the Windows 10 one and you can also turn on nearby sharing straight through this interface as well which is pretty cool. You may also notice that your wallpaper slightly blurs through the header of the interface now. That's Microsoft's new Mika UI effect which is similar to the old acrylic blur effect except it ignores app windows and stuff it just shows your desktop background so if i open up save calendar here and place it behind the file explorer you'll see that my wallpaper is still blurring through the header regardless of the fact that the 
Calendrap is actually behind the window. So that's a nice touch. Uh, of course, right-click menus are also modern within File Explorer here as well. We have options as well as our little icons down here for copy, paste, and rename. Uh, then the Show More Options button is still here, which gives you access to the old uh, Windows 10 context menu if you need it. But again, of course, with rounded corners. Moving right along, Microsoft has updated the settings app in this build. It now has a brand new UI and new features. Uh, Microsoft has recategorized some of the options as well. So your phone, for example, is now in the Bluetooth and devices area. Uh, but in general, this is essentially a brand new settings app. If we come down to power and battery, we have new options and features such as this gr battery graph here, which gives you uh, details as to what's actually using your battery in any given hour. We also get things like screen on and screen off time, which is super Super fun as well as our usual sort of configuration options for screen and sleep if we jump into bluetooth and devices here there's this new hero interface which appears when you have things connected to your device um, as i mentioned your phone is now in here as well inside personalization themes are now sort of present at the very forefront of this category you can switch between themes with ease at this interface and microsoft has also added the ability to customize the touch keyboard so if you come in here you'll see that there's a whole bunch of new options for the touch keyboard on Windows 11. If we open it up here, we can switch between themes uh, and that's what it looks like. We can also create our own custom themes as well, uh, similar to what SwiftKey allows. So you can do all sorts of different things in here, changing the key text color, as well as the actual keys themselves, as well as the window that houses the touch keyboard. So that's super fun. We also have new taskbar options as well. We can customize the corner overflow so I can enable or disable things like OneDrive to show up on the taskbar if I want. And then we can also customize our taskbar behaviors so I can sort of left align this if I really want, or I can automatically hide the taskbar, disable badges, and so on and so forth. So that's super nice. We're not gonna go through everything in the settings app because we'd be here all day. Uh, here is the new sort of Windows update UI if you were wondering, it looks like this, it's much cleaner. We also have our update history here, which is looking much nicer now we have these sort of drop down menus which categorizes the different updates so you can see when they were installed and what was installed which is super nice um but yeah that's basically a very quick look at the new settings app on windows 11 it's a huge departure from the windows 10 one uh things have been recategorized there's new features in here in regards to things like the new power and battery graphs and whatnot uh, but in general it's a much nicer app now which is super fun also new in this build is a brand new Microsoft Store app. Now this is a complete redesign of the App Store on Windows 11 uh, and will eventually include things like Android app support, uh, but that's not here just yet. Today we're just taking a look at the new user interface and as you can see, uh, it's a lot nicer. There's like a slight glow effect that follows your cursor in this main header here, uh, but it's a lot nicer looking and it's easier to navigate uh, and it's much smoother as well. And it feels more native to Windows 11. The old one was kind of this weird hybrid between web tech and, and whatever. Uh, and this one actually feels native to the platform. So if we go down here and click on Netflix, for example, uh, you'll see the app page. I have the sort of logo for the app here, uh, screenshots of the app. And if I click on this, it will bring the, the image up full screen, which is lovely. Then we have our description, show more, ratings and reviews. And then we can, of course, install the app. We press an install. That will begin downloading. And this is the UI involved with doing that. Oh, you even get speed here, which is nice. Um, but apparently my internet's very slow right now. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, as that downloads, we can uh, see the rest of the UI. We have our library down here, which is where your downloads and updates are stored. And then you have your library of actual apps you've downloaded in the past as well as installed, uh, which is super nice, including movies and TV, which is good to see. We have different categories up here. So we have apps, and this is, I guess, a collection of all of the Windows Store apps. We have gaming, which is all of the Windows PC games in the Microsoft Store. And I guess on Game Pass as well. And then finally, we have entertainment, which pulls in videos and TV shows from all the different streaming services that are available right now. Disney Plus, Netflix, you name it, it's all here. Uh, and it will show up in the Microsoft Store, including Microsoft's own movies and TV service, which is super fun. But yes, we also have the search bar along the top here. So if we search for an app, we we'll search for, say, TikTok, which is one of the new apps that's just come to Windows uh, 11, I guess. Uh, you'll see that you can find it in there like that or if we actually just search for it TikTok. here is the search results ui 
which is pretty cool. So that's a quick look at the new Microsoft Store app on Windows 10. Finally, the widgets panel has also been updated in this build. It now includes actual widgets. In the leaked build, it didn't. It just had sort of news and stuff. But this build has actual widgets that can be moved around and customized and resized. So if we resize this here, we can make it large or we can make it small. We can even hide some. So let's remove this widget and add another one. Let's add uh, watch list. Why not? Oh, no. Let's add uh, to do Microsoft to do. And uh, let's see calendar. Yes. Why not? There we go. And these little widgets are kind of cool. They're sort of mini versions of the apps that are pre-installed on your computer. We can create an event here, which will open something. It's opening the web version of Outlook instead of <laughs> the pre-installed app. That's okay. Let's go back. Let's see. We can add new things. We can see our to-dos because I've added the to-do thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, so this is basically the uh, the new widgets panel. There's a search bar up here for some reason. There's lots of search bars in Windows 11. So we can search for, say, I don't know, Windows 11. And that, I assume, will open Microsoft Edge. Yep. Uh, I don't really like that this panel loves to open up the web browser. It should just keep everything in the panel. But oh well. It's, it's still early days. It's still time to uh, to improve this. But there you go. So there you have it. That's a quick look at Windows 11 build 22,000.51. Uh, Microsoft will be releasing more preview builds of Windows 11 over the summer and then release a final version this fall. Thanks so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.